too small in my eyes, oh Lord, forgive me, and I have believed in a lie that you were unable to help me. see my wrong heal my heart and show yourself strong and in my eyes and with my song oh be magnified oh Lord be magnified Sing it with us. Be magnified. Be magnified. Amen. Sanded in the wilderness. 
I thought it that experience thing that a man passed through in life. And I pray that God Almighty to uphold you and will lift you up in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, before we begin to launch, I want to sit to on so that we start for a minute. If you think by your soul, your soul, God has inspired him, empowered him, church. And I pray that we should embrace it and applaud him for this effort. As we do so, God will bless you in Jesus' name. Quickly in our program, we are going to I'm going to invite Engineer Paul Adedudu as the chairman of this occasion. Please, round of applause for him. Teacher. Thank you very much. Lift your name higher. I will lift your name higher. I will lift your name higher. I pull all the names. I will lift your name higher, daddy. I will lift your name higher. I will lift your name higher. I pull all the name. In Jesus' name we worship. Every father, we thank and appreciate this hour. We bless your name, we give you praise, we give you honor, we give you all adoration. We thank the Lord for this privilege you are giving unto us. It is not our power, they are mine. It's by your grace and your mercy. We give you glory, we give you honor, we give you adoration. Be thy exalted in the name of Jesus. Amen. Daddy, as we have gathered this evening, O oh Lord, for this launching of this book, O oh Lord, Father, you are giving him the inspiration to write this book. And we are dedicating it back to you this evening. Father, as we are about to start, O oh Lord, let your spirit fill this place in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, faithful God, for in Jesus' name we pray. Thank you very much, Mr. Tama. Permit me to introduce all great men and women in our midst. In our midst, and our Sunday, Daniel. Can you have a applause for him, please? Then the thing that says, what a man can do, a woman can do better. Do you believe that? Yes. We have in our midst, Mr. Paul Adebudo, also in our midst. We have applause for her. We also have Mrs. Omo Kwawe. In our midst, I'm really sorry. Omo Kwa in our midst. We also have Mrs. Kiwa in our midst. Thank you very much. Kiwa, as we continue, we shall introduce others. But even if you are not introduced, all are very special in, our, in this occasion. God bless you. Let's see, also in our midst, and which is the mother of the day. She is no less personality, is Mama Fleming. A hand of applause for her. Then this will take us to item number three. Open this speech by the chairman. We want the chairman to quickly address us with little about the launching of what we are here for. Please let us listen shortly from the chairman. Amen. Uh, today is a remarkable day for my younger one. My junior brother. Very, very sincere and honest to be as a brother. But just it's so unfortunate that I was not really aware that this program will take place today. Then I pray this occasion. When I read this book this afternoon, when he gave me the book, I go through the book. It's a book according to our Father and the Lord I just said. It's a book in this our dispensation, our this our generation we need to go through. 
from anybody that is down in the wilderness. By the time you go through this book, you, God will give you life. And as we are here to launch this book today, the Lord will give us strength, will give us wisdom, will give us grace to launch this book today in the name of Jesus. I appreciate it for this book. As we continue, the Lord will continue with us in Jesus' name. Thank you very much, Mr. Tama, for that free speech by Mr. Tama. Mr. Tama. <laughs> Do you want to know about the book? I present to you the title of the book, Branded in the Wilderness. It's a renowned book that when you read, it's going to, it's going to awake your spirit release you from bondage. My brother, you need that book in every room. And this will take us to item number four, presentation of the book, Started in the Wilderness, written by Dr. Baba Tunde Omakudu Adebudu. A round of applause for him. Hello. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Uh, I'm very happy and honored for being given this privilege to be here alive. And uh, uh, when I'm alive, I'm able to do these things that God has protected me. I want to say, I want to start by saying that for those people that have not seen me before, that the Father in the wilderness. Before we start the journey of the wilderness, let's who know who is talking for those who don't know me. By the grace of God, I am Dr. Adekuto, registered gynecologist, just university teaching hospital. Uh, I happen to be from this very town. It is small London, Munemosu, after the local media of Edo State. I'm a son of late Chijo Adekuto, Akbalaho of Muneme, who died. June 25, 2005. Uh, that is a man, the man of the people who live for his people. A man of great credibility, a great icon. But that he died in 2005, but memory is still very fresh with us because of what he has done. I'm, I'm not in this book to immortalize his name because my daddy's name cannot be forgotten. I want to let you know, if your neighbor left, right, and south, North, South, West, and East, say to your friend that you are lucky to be here. Say to your neighbor that you are lucky to be here. You are lucky to, you be, lucky here. to be here. You are lucky to be here. You are lucky to be here. You are lucky to be here. The reason why I'm saying so is that when we live in a world of so too terrible wickedness, we have so many destinies that are stranded in the wilderness, battered, shattered, and detained. A town where the global world is experiencing a lot of antichrist uh, phenomena and uh, crisis. A town where Nigeria is also stranded. This matter is coming timely. There's a need for you to understand that because you are here, you cannot be stranded. Because you are here, you are going to choose one. Bible said, many are called, but few are chosen. Because you are going to choose one, you will not miss that way in Jesus' name. Amen. I want to understand that. There's a need for you to understand that this book is a gift to the God Almighty, the only one and only. The one who is the wisest, God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The one who is stronger than the strongest. The one who and only we are celebrating today. The one who cannot lie. The one who is still yesterday, today, and forever. Because he's here with us, your problem and your sorrow, they are gone forever in Jesus' name. Amen. Covering greetings in the name of our Lord Jesus and Lord Jesus Christ. Straight the wilderness is a book among books, a message among messages, a revelation among revelations, and a revelation among revelations. It's a book you cannot afford to miss. And in this book companion in every home, this book is for the liberation of our generation. After us, we bring hope to many people who face in life. By God's grace, this book will be a blessing to our generation. The hour has come where your pains, sorrows, 
I will not experience it with the God forever in Jesus' name. Amen. In the book of 1 Corinthians, Chronicles 28, verse 20, and every step to Solomon, his son, be strong and of good courage, and do it. Fear not, nor be dismayed. For the Lord God, even my God, will be with thee. He will not fail thee. Until thou hast finished all the work for the service of the house of the Lord. In John 19, verse 30, when you have received the burger, he said, It is finished. And he bowed his head and gave up the ghost. But just start to give up his ghost for your sake. Hear me and hear me well. Your willing experience in shape and reproaches are all over because just Christ said it's finished. Your pain, struggles, and salvation are over in short name. Amen. Amen. I want to acknowledge the following people. My late father, late T.J. Adepudo, who died in 2005, a great actor, a man of the people. My mother, Mrs. Helene Ibekele Adepudo, who taught me love and kindness. Late Mrs. Shola Adebudo, a woman of great credibility and responsibility, a wife among wives, a role model, a sister among sisters, a virtuous woman. Late Mr. Fleming Momodo, our very brother at Hong Kong, who for a family death is now here with us. An actual man, a business tycoon. And lastly, all other late sons and daughters of William Land, who on family death took away from us. May the gentle souls rest in perfect peace. Name. Amen. When you say stranded in the wilderness, to be stranded or left stranded is to be helpless, maroon or abandoned. Wilderness is a desert or wide area, a terrible place, a place of agony, a place of hopelessness, a place of drugs, and a place of wickedness. To be stranded in the wilderness is to be helpless or abandoned in a hopeless state. Our test to take it from the book of Exodus 14. Verse 12, Exodus 15, verse 22, Exodus 16, verse 12, Numbers 14, verse 23. When you say friend in the wilderness, in summary, when you say that, when you are doing something that is not of God, when you are living your life without knowing God, you are living your life after the will of God for your life, you are stranded. When you got sick, you are stranded. When you, if God should be here and not here, you are stranded. So it's as simple as that. So we are saying that as many people are not living according to God's precept, who are not born again, who are not in Christ, they are stranded in the wilderness. But because you are here, you are the chosen one, you will not be stranded in Jesus' name. Amen. It is a need for you to understand what, for example, what, when you say, what does it mean to be stranded in the wilderness? It is to be afflicted with a medical condition that defies every medical or surgical intervention. Like it to a married couple, who several attempts to get a child have failed or people about it. Since having worked in an organization for several decades without promotion of God, is to be hated by everyone in the absence of thought. It is to work for several years without any savings or investment. It is when a woman or woman of age has no wife or husband. It is to be helpless in the valley of dry bones. Because you are here, you cannot be stagnant in the valley of dry bones in Jesus' name. It is a situation where you take your goods to the market, and no one is ready to buy. Even when you decide to give out on credit, no one is ready to accept such credit. It's for a student to gain admission without sponsorship. It's to be an orphan without no helper. It is to stay inside the house without doors or window. It's for someone to travel abroad with complete papers, yet deported to his or her country without riches. It's for a student in examination for to have his pen in finish in the middle of the examination. It's for a plane to take off and face to land off or for it to crash. It is to have a car upon you and the owner lacks fire extinguisher or helper. For people to hate you with perfect hatred without any cause or reason. It is for somebody to have a handset without a recharge card or network. It is for a student to write the same examination on several attempts without success. It is for one to be starving in the presence of plenty. Because you are here, you will not starve in the presence of plenty in Jesus' name. Amen. It is for one not to know his right, his or her right or privileges. It is for one to be suffering serious of rejection without any cause. For princes, that is a mystery. It's a, it's a very bad thing, a strange thing for children of Belia, for children, children of devil, to be riding on horses while children of God are walking on barefoot. Because you are here, God will perfect all that concern you and begin to ride on horses in Jesus' name. Amen. If you want to be living a writing and falling lifestyle, it is for one to be experiencing the failure at the edge of breakthrough. Twenty people have near stress syndrome. It's for a journey of 40 days. Let me journey of 40 years. 40 years. There are people that are always joining to prosperity and destiny changing. It's going to be 40 days. Because of them, they are living, they are spending for 40 years. The children of Israel, like, when they're supposed to cover their rich promised land within 40 days, they end up reaching their 40 years. 
I pray for you. Anything that will take you on earth will delay. God will not allow you in Jesus' name. Amen. It is to wake up early in the morning and come back at night. We're going to show for it. Bible said, by strength, I know my prevail. Because we are here, every of your labor will have your reward in Jesus' name. Amen. So wake up in the morning and come back, and I will make to show for you, like I've just said. So be walking through a lesson that would like, and they're feeling like an ant. There's only for you, walk, walk, hustle, hustle, hustle. I want to show for it. Because we are here, because we are found to celebrate and launch this book of God, you, all your work and able, you have to show for it in Jesus' name. Amen. So we have repeated afflictions and sorrows in so many areas of life. It is to experience with my job. Or what I mean, that of a loved one. Most of us are here, like our family, we lost our very loved ones. And that is why we are here to say we don't want it again. Because you are here, you will not lose your loved one. Because you are here, no one, you will not lose one. This period of festivity, you will not lose any of your loved ones in Jesus' name. Amen. It is for a woman to be suffering recurrent or abject discouragement. There are women that they keep, they are married, couples who want to have their child, they keep have, they get the pregnant, the woman will get pregnant, we lost it. Because you are here, as long as you trust God to have many children, you will get other children in Jesus' name. Amen. No one miscarriages in Jesus' name. Amen. It's for someone to be declared to religious doctrine and yet not be rationable. Because you are here, you will make everyone in Jesus' name. Amen. That will say many are called of you are today. Because you are here, you are going to choose the one in Jesus' name. Amen. If, if you want to sell this or a petrol out of ignorance, like this of uh, Esau who sold his petrol out of ignorance, because you are here, you will not miss your, you will not sell the petrol in Jesus' name. If for one not to know the difference between a head and a tail position, it's for a man or woman to be making the same mistake over and over again. It's to be always be victim of that. There people that who they did anything wrong, you just, just put their name for evil thing. Because you are here, that will not be your portion in Jesus' name. Amen. It's for your enemy to have the panacea in your life. It's for one especially to be caught up or cautious every day of life. It's for a man or woman to be your power with that thought or the person that people are tired of life, cities are hard, and all they want to think is how to kill themselves. Because we are here, it's not be hard for you in Jesus' name. Amen. It's for a man, it's for a man to graduate without a certificate. And many people that will go to school, they will finish, no certificate to show for it. But because we are here as a student, you will, you will graduate and have a certificate in Jesus' name. Amen. It's for one to have peace or right and finish the night. And many people who are still king, they are still they are still begging because somebody has put away their what belongs to them. But God will restore that who belongs to you in Jesus' name. Amen. It is for is to have one's wife or husband. Not by a close friend or in this guilty. If you want to be the carrier of people, there are people who are walking on the scope of the street, up and down, they are carrying evil load. When you carry evil load, you cannot make us blood. Because you are here, Satan will not deposit any evil load upon your life in Jesus' name. Amen. Like that, God will reject and remove from your life in Jesus' name. Amen. God will give you divine spirit in Jesus' name. Amen. So be in the middle of the war. An army man who will go to war and you have plenty to fight, that person will die. So, because you are here, you will not die in the midst of your battle in Jesus' name. Amen. It's for a fruit tree to grow without fruit and the season. It's for one to be sowing opportunity without harvest. It's for one to be afflicted with spirit of disease or infirmity. It's for one to be experiencing continuous shame and pushing in every area of life. It's for one to be experiencing after poverty and backwardness in every area of life. It's for a girl to go into the labor market and nobody appreciates his or her service, give or trigger. And so many graduates on the street. Labor market, they go, they have to get first class, they don't have job. Even when they say they want to offer their job and they want to buy their, their service to people, they will not they will reject them. It's not a good thing. Because you are here, when you graduate, you have a job waiting for you in Jesus' name. Amen. If you want to lack God's divine prayer of direction, if you don't know how to hear from the Holy Spirit, it's not a good thing. Because you are here, the Holy Spirit will manifest in you and begin to hear from Him very well in Jesus' name. Amen. If you want to start a project, how many people start building a house? They start a business, in the middle of the business or the beauty, they, will, they can't finish it again. But because you are here, God will give you the strength and the grace to finish that which He has entrusted you to do in Jesus' name. Amen. It's to put somebody in a place for which he or she has no way of living. It's to put a boat, fish, or wind on land and have to go to the water. It's to have a woman and her daughter share the same man, or to have a man and his son share the same woman. It's a taboo to have people of the same relation. Sharing the same woman or man is wrong. So it's for a bride or bride to be absent on the wedding. I put that they want to get married, the day of the wedding, the man will not come, the woman will not come. Disappointment. That will not be a portion in Jesus' name. Amen. So be kept in a place with that step of covering and a pack of hungry wolves. It's for a priest or priest to be eating with pigs ahead of them. Like the prodigal son, he was stranded in the wilderness. That's why he took his day, he told the father to give him his portion and went away and fished everything and started eating with pigs. 
That will not be a portion in Jesus' name. But the question is, what are the people standing in the wilderness? Number one is holy, foolishness. Lack of good judgment. Like this brother, that's why I call this for them. God showed them strength and wonder in Egypt. This many miracle, part of the rest thing, and they begin to, they, they did not even appreciate God. They were just complaining that it's not rain. They come Moses as a magician. God of that, some of them were, did not see the promised land. They, 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 they people say there's no God. Because we are here, we don't make that mistake. There's God and help is free in Jesus' name. It's a lack of pull, when they pull your foolishness, it's a lack of good judgment. The fact of doing something stupid. No me I think verses say, we just require the Lord, O oh, foolish people and unwise people. It is not he that father that has brought thee, that he has not made thee and established thee. In the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 2, verse 13. But then I saw that wisdom except fully, as far as light except darkness. We need to do it. We don't to try on and not to make mistakes of it. So no, do foolish things. God will to us in Jesus' name. Amen. And I have seen that only in the prophet of Samaria, the prophet sat in back and probably put to hell. Most of those false prophets, they use false duplicity, preaching and prophecy. God so will not like to meet a false prophet in Jesus' name. Amen. What about some people are at this point because of their wickedness? The, the heart of men is terrible wickedness. So people are in situation where they are going through because their father put them there. The people will be that straight to do this one and 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 put take their destiny and people to remote control them. So people are supposed to be being abroad, they are being in Nigeria because somebody close to them have prayed that there's wickedness. And that's why God said in 2014, if the wicked shall not succeed this day. Yeah. Because you are here, the soul will not the, the wicked, wicked people will not have if, if, if on your life in Jesus' name. Amen. Genesis 6 verse 5 said, And God saw that the wickedness of man was great in earth, and that every man thought the thought of his heart was only evil continually. The verse of 18 verse 17 said, Thou shalt not uncover the nakedness of a woman and her daughter. Neither shall thou take her son's daughter or her daughter's daughter to cover her nakedness, for they are they are near kiss my wickedness. In summary, when you are married to a woman, don't make a mistake of sleeping with her sister or relation. Because if you do that, you find the wilderness. So you put because they are, very, they are very proud. So they know it all. They are too strong. Like in Nigeria, there are many people that who are claiming that they know more than the president. As many people that are doing those things, they will not see light of the day. Because you are here, no evil person will, will overshadow you in Jesus' name. So to be proud is not a good thing. I would say pride comes before fall. The feeling, the pride, what, what, what is pride? Is the feeling that you are better or more important than other people. The pride comes or goes before you fall. If you have too high an opinion of yourself or your ability, something will happen to make you look stupid. Look at Leviticus, for instance, verse 19. And I will break, God said, I will break the pride of your power, and I will make your heaven as iron, and your earth as brass. In the book of 1 John 2, verse 16. For all that is in the world, the loss of the flesh, and the loss of the eyes, and part of life is not of the pride that comes from the world. For anything that proud, uh, pride is not good, it's of the devil. God expects us to be humble. They are humble because we live too high. So if what is their problem? Why are they standing in the of your They will not believe. Even this program now, when they say they are doing it, they will think, yeah, maybe it's not true. Because God, they are humble, they are not here. And that is why people will miss heaven. Because you are here, you will not miss heaven in Jesus' name. Amen. What is not belief? Lack of belief or the state of not believing clearly in God. In the book of Matthew 13, verse 58, and did not many mighty work here because of their unbelief. When you have one belief, even when somebody wants to bless you, you can't get that blessing. Matthew 17 was praying, and Jesus said unto them, Because of your own belief, for verily I say unto you, if it happen as, as a grain of mustard seed, it shall stay unto this mountain. Remove, and hence to another place, and shall, and shall be removed, and not shall be put to When you have belief in God, there is nothing you cannot do in Jesus' name. Some people are backsliding, some people are very well, they are serving God, they are very, very lost. When they backslide, they first find it. The Bible said that own wickedness shall correct it, and that backsliding shall reprove it. No dear point see that it's an evil thing and bitter. And that has forgotten the Lord and God. And that my fear is not in you, said the Lord, God of hosts. Backsliding is a dangerous thing. Backsliding makes backwardness. You don't move backsliding, you backsliding, you don't move forward. Backsliding is a situation when somebody fails to do something that they agree to do. And so they are coming back to you. Another thing that causes people to be stranded is causes. I put that they offend their parents, they offend their neighbor, they do causes. Because you are here, every cause the enemy has issued upon your life, God will remove it and, and cancel it in Jesus' name. Amen. What is it? What, is it? what, what when you say cause? What is cause? The solemn invocation of the virus on the first year or two. Genesis 3 verse 14. And the Lord God said unto the, unto the, the carpet, 
when the serpent comes, Adam and Eve will sin and God call the serpent. Because that has done this, that has caused a book of cattle and a book of every bit of the day, upon that belly shall that go, and thus shall that eat all the days of their life. Genesis 3 verse 17, and unto Adam he said, Because that has taken unto the birth of the wife, and has eaten of the tree, of which I find the thing, saying, That shall not eat of God. Thought is the ground for that thing. In sorrow shall that eat of it all the days of their life. Genesis 3 verse 3, and I will bless them that are blessed. God said, for those that are blessed, you will bless them. For those that are cursed, God will Because you are here, God will bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. God said, He said, I will bless them that bless thee, and cause them that cause thee. And in this shall all families of the earth be blessed. In the book of Exodus 21, verse 17, and he that caused his father or his mother, I shall be put to death. But you should understand, as, as children who are here, be listening very well. Don't ever make mistakes to cause your parents. Because the cause of prayer automatically is a cause that for you. So even if because they cause a demonic cause that parents, any to the parents, they are away from this stranded. That is why, as, you know, as long as you are here as a child, God will not allow you to cause a parent, so you will not be stranded in Jesus' name. Amen. That was the cause the, the man that make it any grave, supposed to have idol, idol worshippers, they are cursed. It's an abomination of the Lord. The work of the hands of the cast man and play in the sacred place, and all the people shall answer and say Amen. This woman to herself and let it say, First, the eat that correct me of the stranger. But now, when the people say, Because when people are very proud, when people that have no parents, like people that have no father or no mother, the stranger, they will just cause them, they just do it to them. People that do such things, they are first. And all the people shall say, Amen, and they are first. This woman to herself and let it say, First, the eat that lies with his father's wife. So people will go and sit with their parents, their father's wife, when they do such things, they are stranded. Because the Bible is for us, and all the people just say, Amen. Three verse seven, verse one said, First be he that lies any man of you, most people, animal, this human being, people with goat, people with sheep, people with hen. It's a very bad, it's a taboo. When you do that, you are stranded in the wilderness. I pray for somebody, you know what I with animal, in Jesus' name. Three verse seven, verse two said, First be he that lies with his sister, the most people with their own sister, their own brother, they're to make love. You do such things as well as because you are here, you know, make that mistake in Jesus' name. Amen. And all the people are saying, Amen. Amen. You know, Prince Edward, Prince Edward, they cause the heat that lies with more than a lot. So people will still be their father's wife. When they do, when you do not, because you are here, you make that mistake. When, when put, those, those that will do such things, they are trying to make that mistake. I will not make that in Jesus' name. Amen. You know, me, Prince Edward, Prince Edward, they cause the heat that spitted his neighbor secretly. So people will just eat their neighbor for blood ritual. Now, the people said, woman made. They do all, all manner of kidnapping, rituals, which people they are stranded already. Because you are here, you will not make such mistakes in Jesus' name. Amen. John Christopher said, Because first be he that seeketh a reward to slay an innocent person. So people will take bribe to kill somebody. When you do such, you will take money to go and kill somebody. I, I have to say, Because you are here, you will not make such mistakes. Those are not such things, you are trying to wait on it. Now that we are here, we are What is the way out? The way out we must know that the God Almighty, the King of all kings, the Alpha and the Omega, the creator of heaven and earth, is, is, is real. It's still yesterday, today, and forever. And heaven and earth is real. You may have believed that God is so mighty. God is so mighty that He's the King of Kings and the King Maker. The same God, He can replace any king with another, another person. He replaces all with David. The same God that is so mighty that when He disobeyed God, He to you. What has Jonah? Jonah was talking about when Jonah disobeyed God. What has for Jesus followed him? When you can answer the question of God, God, God told a king for a, a beast. Turn the beast to the king to one animal. I'm lying. Go and ask the organizer. We'll tell you that what happened to him. I pray because you are here, you will not make that mistake in Jesus' name. Amen. You need a courage, a courage, you have courage. No matter what you go through in life, have a prayer that God is real and is yet, is yet an amen. He, he can never lie. What is courage? Courage gives you hope when others are failing. We see the courage. I, I told you, I pray for you, somebody here. We see the courage to keep keeping on in Jesus' name. The courage of life of God will see you through in life. Courage is backbone. Courage is heartedness. Courage gives you source at the age of failure. Courage of God will come on you in Jesus' name. Yeah. You will become victorious in Jesus' name. Yeah. Job chapter 1 verse 6 says, Be strong and of good courage. Fear not, nor be afraid of them. For the Lord thy God he, he is that dwell with you. He will not fail thee, nor forsake thee. I pray for all of you that are here. God will not fail you in Jesus' name. Yeah. And you must understand, going to go through your wilderness experience. You need to know your uniqueness. Why am I black? Why am I African? Is it why you are black? Is it why you are African? Is it why you are here in the country? When you know your uniqueness before God, you don't miss heaven in Jesus' name. 
But you, are, you must always admit your uniqueness. You are destined for greatness. As many people that are here, you are destined for greatness in Jesus' name. Amen. The signature of your eyes is to you alone. Don't ever compare yourself with your neighbor anymore. Don't, don't do that. Say, and I wake up, say, I'm wonderfully made, I'm fearfully made, I'm handsome, I'm beautiful. Nobody can take what belongs to you in Jesus' name. Amen. There's something unique about you. Your uniqueness is your popularity. You don't think like others think. You don't think like others do. You don't even dance like, your dancing step is different. When you dance, your own dance is different. Don't like, and you are dancing your way of dancing. God is putting your destiny for you in Jesus' name. Amen. You don't talk like others do. David told the king, when David was to fight Goliath, David told the king, he said, I cannot fight you this way, but they gave you instruments to fight. They, are too, they were too heavy, but they said, I cannot fight. I know I think uh, I was able to kill the lion, the beast, the bush, and because I have God in me. He said, he told, he said, I cannot use this weapon. He said, I'm used to my soul, my soul and my strength. That thing God gave to you to fight your battle, that was used to be your enemy in Jesus' name. He said, I'm used to using my, my soul and my strength. So you can uniqueness, we allow you to kill your Goliath in Jesus' name. Amen. Your child has failed for me in Jesus' name today as I pray. Say amen. Amen. David killed Goliath and things changed for him. When you kill your Goliath, your level will change. David killed Goliath, everything changed for Goliath. David killed Goliath not in the front of my car. I think he did so, they will say, ah, maybe this one is lying. He not killed Goliath in the bush. I think the people will say it was a lie. He's killing Goliath for a scary moment. David, he killed Goliath right in the presence of a king. I pray for somebody here that God will give you a testimony. In the prayer of those who will promote you in Jesus' name. Amen. As you need praise, when things are going wrong, things are happening, say the dry is dry. Say the dry is not dry. Because you know, you can see your God. You pray, say to you, when you begin to sing, right in the morning, you are singing. Say, I can see everything turning around, turning around, turning around for my favor. You pray. You praise God. When David will go to stop, all he does is praise and worship. Praise has to word. It has, the, the praise has to word in it. Praise and raise. When you praise God, level things begin to God begin to raise your level. You are raising higher. As you are praising for your level is increasing. Because you are here, you don't be surprising. What God God is going to be always praising. Don't complain, don't murmur. But who are complaining, you are praising God. You are praising God. Say to you oh, be all that glory. To you oh, be all that glory. You know, say, you need to take what take what the condition of your life. Everything. As you are doing that, your level is changing. I pray for somebody. Because you are here, everyone will remember you. But you said, and God remember Noah. Because you are here, you can't, God told me, He said, those I will come to celebrate with you. Therefore, they are the, the inconveniences. Other people are doing other things, and they are here. Because they are here, God will visit you. Because Amen. you are here, God will you in Jesus' name. Amen. What the praise? Praise are words that show approval of permission for something or somebody. And especially of worship to God. Praise be to God. For his marvelous indeed. Especially believe and joy. To express your thanks or even for God. They say praise what you used to ascend the spiritual uh, uh, gate of, of your blessings. When you praise God, God will give you the key to unlock your blessings. When you praise God, when you get the promise line. I pray that nobody will miss this promise line in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise is the cheapest access to the most high God. I feel the heart of God in your life. The greatest obstacle facing you in life will never require more than praise to become a miracle. When you praise every of your good life that are falling before you in Jesus' name. Amen. You can praise your way out of penury into what? Plenty. Out of sickness into hell. Out of spirit into fitness. Judges chapter 5 verse 2 said, Praise ye the Lord for the adventure of Israel. When people willingly offer themselves in the book of Pastor Vic Pentecost Saturday. And to what? To start every morning to thank and praise the Lord. When you wake up, say, Father, I'm thank you. Bible said, Book of Psalm 100, 100 verse 4. The entire is day with time giving, and it will is God with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. Psalm 150 verse 6 says, Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, praise ye the Lord. You must have faith. When you have faith in God, you will not miss everyone in Jesus' name. Amen. What is faith? Hebrews 11 verse 1 said, Now faith is the son of this hope for everything of this not seen. Hebrews 11 verse 3 said, Through faith we understand that the world were framed by the word of God, so that this which are seen were not made of this which do appear. By faith, if it offer unto God a more excellent sacrifice than Cain. 
Even the level five itself, by faith, Enoch was said that he should not see death. Even the level that he said, by faith, the one that took fell down after they were confessed about the whole thing. Children of Israel were the praise God, dancing around the world with God, said that if I use the biggest weapon on it, they will not put that way. But do pray that worship. They were, they were going around the world, they were praising, I can see every day turning around. They did it for seven days, they were not discouraged. They were focused. When you are focused, don't miss your, 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 your target. When you are focused, you get your, 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 your breakthrough. I promise somebody, you don't miss your focus in Jesus' name. Amen. They were focused that this world will come down. On the seventh day, the word came down flat with praise and worship. As you begin to praise God from now on, your word of will come down flat in Jesus' name. Amen. And as you need more diligence, it says, see the man building in his story, he shall stand before kings. We are leaders in the work of God, you will stand before kings. So kings and president of a president in Jesus' name. We are for the country said, keep the heart with all diligence, for out of it are issues of life. Scope down one verse five said, and besides this, give it all diligence, add to your faith, virtue, and virtue your knowledge. Scope down one verse ten said, we are brethren, give diligence to make your calling, and it shall show. For if you do these things, you shall never fail. The answer you need prayer. No matter what you are going through, always pray. Bible says, pray without ceasing. When you take anything for God, say, God, I'm calling you onto this. God will answer you. All through the scripture, prayer has proved to be a platform for encounter with the power of God. Jacob prays with to little power and he prevails. I can't believe it. The angel speaking to Jacob on that prayer, but he said, Let me go for the break, break out. And he said, No, I will not let thee go. And he said, That bless me. What in our Jacob? What is thy name? And he said, Jacob. He said, That name is no longer to Jacob, but Israel. Because you are here to pray away to pray for today. God will answer you and give what you want in Jesus' name. Amen. Say, and the praise has that power with God and with men and has prevailed. Genesis 2, verse 26 to 28. This was how God changed the 